What is going on guys? Today we have got the 81 times 11 Premier League. The question is how expensive are they? Obviously two SBCs as all of them have been. I'm hoping... Oh, okay, so we're about the same. So one team in a week, it looks like every single one of them is going to be the same 83, 84. One team in a week in the 84 and two 85s in the 83. So realistically in that 83 rated squad... You don't need too much because 285s is going to take you over the odds. So you probably need a handful of 82s, maybe one or two 83s, and you should be an absolute good one. This one for me would be the only one I'd actually grind just purely for the fact of what I like in the team of the seasons. With obviously La Liga, Bundesliga, Serie A, there may be a couple of special ones that you want. But I would much rather have a full 11 of Premier League than I would Serie A as such. Obviously, without seeing them. We also got the 86 double, which is nice. That one's definitely worth grinding out for any of the team of the seasons. Literally, whatever you want. Again, 84 rated squad. That one's quite a good one. And it is repeatable every day. So, we've got a lot to be getting through. And I believe that is all the content from today. We've not had any more upgrades. Obviously, like we said... We've already got 83 upgrade. We've already got 82 times 10. The 81, well, the 81 times 11 for all the leagues come in, as well as the premium mixed league SBC, silverware smelting, trophy crafting. There is a lot going on at the moment. So I didn't expect them to give us a player pick or something like that. It would have been nice to maybe have got the 75 times 5. I felt like that would have capped off some of the rares, seeing as though we've got the bronzes, we've got the silvers, obviously the gold commons. It would have been nice some to be able to get the rares to be able to put into the 83 upgrade to then make this SBC a little bit easier. Because realistically, realistically, we look at all of them, we need an 83 and an 84 from obviously the premium uh, Premier League one. We need an 84 for the double now, every single day this is. We then have also the 81 Serie A. This is obviously doing them all. That one is an 83 and an 84. Then we've obviously got the La Liga one, which is going to be an 83 and an 84 again. So that's seven SBCs already. If you wanted to throw the 82 times 10 in, there's two more squads every single day if you wanted. And I don't think it's possible. There's, what, nine SBCs that are 83 to 84 rated. You're just not going to be able to keep up with that. That is a lot of upgrades that personally is just not worth doing. And I just think it's impossible to grind it out without really spending some coins on it. Obviously, make sure you are doing your daily login. This is just your visual aid to make sure that you get this done. Because that one is going to be well worth your time grinding out for all of these packs. Again, it is dependent on what you want from Team of the Season. These are obviously always going to be fantastic as building packs going forward and like i say 82 times 10 i would scrap personally 283 squads is just not worth it in my eyes with the 584s the double 86s i would much rather go for some specific sbcs than doing that one plus that one can be do can be done three times a day so that's technically what 11 12 13 sbcs every day of yours to do everything it is not possible. Not You'd need over 183 to 85 rated players every single day. Plus then the commons, the rares, the bronze, the silvers to be able to do all of this. It's just impossible. So the way I personally would do it is I'd be looking at the 86 double. That one's going to be a nice one to get. Then the 81 times 11 prem. Purely because prem normally has the most hype. That for me would be the one that I'd actually want to do. The 83 upgrade is great to get any fodder to put into these. Obviously, then the rest is all dependent on where you're going. I don't think I'd do Serie A or La Liga depending on what we actually get from them. I'd probably wait till the actual specific league upgrade for that one. So how do you start grinding out these from fresh, from some golds in your club? Where do you start? So from the basics, we've got our favorites already listed here. So pretty much these are all the SBCs that you can kind of go with. The first and foremost is objectives. If you want to play some games, then obviously that is going to be the best place to go. Make sure you have done your rivals first, because obviously we do have the season five coming to an end now. We've not really grinded too much of this, to be fair. I've kind of, Rivals is just now... Uh, Try and get seven a week. See where you land. I'm not really too fussed about Elite. Elite will probably be more into the team of the season one. Just purely for the fact that you do get a red pick. That would probably be worth the grind if anything. Are you tired of using players like this? I would much rather have teams more like this. 
then I recommend going over to skycoach.gg for all of your coaching and coins needs. They are cheap, fast, and reliable, but at the checkout, make sure you are using code JT11 for a discount on your orders. Back to the video. So we'll more than likely go to Elite in the next season, if anything. So that's going to give you packs on Thursday. That will obviously go round into just before Team of the Season comes out. Obviously, Squad Battles champs are now going to be during Team of the Season, as that is Saturday and technically Friday if you wanted to do that before. Make sure you are doing it after 6pm for foot champs because I don't want any delay on them red picks changing. In terms of other objectives, obviously we have got the trophy crafting, which is going to be a perfect one to be able to get yourselves some more different packs going up. We also have the warm-up one, again, some more packs, as well as the team of the season warm-up if you wanted save packs for the premium league SBC. We then obviously have Frank Lampard and Dennis Bergkamp. It's going to be more fodder as well as packs. The trophy crafting for obviously all of the icons. Again, more fodder, more packs, and you also get the 80 double back as well. Plus then any of these that you haven't done so far, they're going to be well worth grinding this week before we get into team of the season as then it's all about SBCs. It's all about packs. It's all about packing team of the seasons. So once you've done all them, if you've done your rivals, you've done all your objectives, you've got all your packs in. That should give you a very good basis of gold cards, of commons, rares, whatever you need. If that's still not enough, then obviously the bronze pack method is going to be a great way to start your, your grind from the very, very start. And this is without absolutely anything in there. This is literally bottom of the chain. Obviously, preview packs every day. Always going to be worth doing at the very minimum. Sometimes you can get something. It is very, very unlikely that you get anything, but always worth a shout if it is free. Also, we do get the 10 coin packs every day at the moment. I feel like they're doing that every single day. Whether you get something or not is going to be dependent. We get a cheeky bit of Kessie there, which again is 10 coins well worth spent. The big thing for me is making sure that you are not leaving anybody behind. That is going to be a massive one for this grind because... You don't want to be discarding anybody if you really, really don't have to because we've got no time restraint at the minute. We've got until Friday. We've got plenty of time to just be grinding. The, main, uh, the gameplay side of stuff is very stagnant at the moment. There's not too much to do. Wherever the Trophy Titans one is... Where are we? Here we go. This one is great for the little SBC ones. So say if you've got, for instance, an Ericsson, you don't have anything else that you don't really want to put in. You can literally just go and put this one in and just have your commons. So it is absolutely perfect to utilize any rares that are duplicate, as well as then putting your Serie A and uh, putting your commons in as well. As obviously the 83 plus upgrade is going to be seven rares. This is a great use to be able to get two rares back. If obviously you get somebody well worth packing, then that's even better. If not, you can obviously go ahead and put it back into the 83 double or 83 upgrade, in fact, as that only needs seven, technically five once you've done that. Guarantees you a board at the minimum. I have seen a lot of 83s from there. So again, that is something to always consider. From there, obviously, then the 81, well, what the 81 times 11, you do need two 85s, which is going to be, again, another thing that you want to get from the 83 upgrade or the trophy crafting. That's going to be two things that you're just going to have to try and get. If not, then buying them's probably off the cards, as I can imagine, they are going to be that little bit more expensive. And it is just about re rinsing the small packs. Obviously, if they're league specific, just keep them. There is no point holding, uh, uh, there's no point opening them now. As literally, it just means nothing. You might as well wait. I don't know if they're... Yeah, three rares, five commons. It's a standard pack. It's going to give you nothing in terms of what you need for now. Wait for team in a season for any league specific. And like their 80 pluses, we're going to just put them back into the 83. Obviously, with a daily login, you also get an 81 double. If you get an inform, that is going to be perfect for the 84. If you don't get a board... Just going into the 83 upgrade, that unfortunately is the uh, the be-all and end-all of it. And again, if you haven't necessarily got a lot of rares, then obviously it's going to be well worth putting them into the trophy crafting and making sure that you are doing your commons like that. For instance, we've probably got enough 80 uh, rares at the moment to be able to put Pepe into another upgrade. And I would say trying to put your 80s and 81s in first are going to be more beneficial purely for the fact that you are going to get a, a lot of 80 doubles. So it's going to be easier to get to put them in than to put your 78s and your 75s as the likely chance of a dupe there 
is very, very slim. So, for instance, if we go for just start here because we seem to have a very stock club to say that I haven't really been grinding heavily yet so it's quite interesting to see anyway but that's going to be the 83 uh, upgrade again like I say we're going to see a lot of 83s from these and that's not a bad thing at times because we do need 83s still but we definitely need a team in a week which we technically sure already have and obviously two 85s if you haven't already got them in this one we're going to be getting Oh, it's going to be... He oh, we get a bit of Jude. 84 still doesn't help technically, but it's one that I personally don't have. Again, with that, we can then go and put it into the upgrade if needed. Whatever we need to go and get that Prem done. Personally, I would go Prem and obviously the doubles. They're going to be the two that I'm going to be grinding this week and getting them out as much as possible. With... The way to get anything trof uh, trophy tied to, uh, trophy crafting upgrades because the trophy crafting will perfectly go into the 83 upgrade. The 83 upgrade will go into the prem. Anything just goes down the list. If we get an 83 and it's a duplicate, put it back in the trophy crafting. If you run out of obvious uh, bronzes, or no, in fact, gold commons, the silverware smelting is available seven times a day. Get that done with your bronze pat method. That's going to be absolutely perfect. Bronze and silver for seven of them, you get 11 commons, meaning you can go and do the trophy crafting seven times every day, which gives you a good amount. It gives you technically 40, 80 rated and above, and hopefully that will give you some more so you can technically do the 83 twice just off bronze and silvers. Then, obviously, once you've done all that for the day, the Prime Silver and Prime Bronze are going to be perfect to grind these out. So, for instance, just as a very small help, there is a Bronze Patch um, up upload on the channel if you want to go check that out. It is in a lot more detail in terms of Bronze Packs, but the premise is it is open the bronze packs, sell what's tradable, uh, sell what's actually available to sell and keep everything else for the upgrades. So for instance, if it doesn't sell, like if you can just see that it literally doesn't sell, don't force the sell. It just isn't worth it. If you can see 200s there, then obviously don't bother. With like, for instance, this guy, I don't know where is, it's Italian 2. We've saw a lot of 250s there. I wonder if there is a 200. There's a 200 at 39. He might sell, but personally, if it's not going to like the 50th minute for 200, I'd just keep him and carry on. Once you've done that quite a lot of the times, you will find things that will sell as obviously daily SBCs, icon SBCs needing rares, obviously different marquee matchups will give you different prices for all of them. So always check the prices. Once you've done that, then obviously you want to go and do the prime bronze. That will give you five rare silvers as well as then going into the prime silvers. You then get six common players, meaning you only need to do two silver primes to then go ahead and do another trophy crafting. And it is just rinse and repeat in that. That is going to be the bug standard bronze pack to bronze prior uh, to prime bronze prime silver into obviously the trophy crafting into the 83 into the prem then when you go down again if you get a dupe go back down the list wherever you need to go and you just keep recycling every time it is that easy so let me know down below if you need any more help make sure you do like and subscribe and which ones are you grinding this week make sure you do like and subscribe though check the video out on screen and i'll catch you all for the next one peace